welcome to Honey Bee Stamping Hive, where a creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to be making this box. I found it on Pinterest and it was made by Linda Parker. And um, she used, a, I think, 12 by 12 paper. And I wanted to, um, so I condensed mine to be on an 11 by eight and a half sheet of paper. And she also used the envelope punch board to make hers and I'm not gonna use that. But this is the box we're gonna be making. It has a hinge lid. See my goodies in there. Um, but we're gonna get started with this. So thanks Linda Parker for the um, idea on making this. I just altered the measurements a little bit. But the decoration and everything, that was from her. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna let you know what we're gonna be using. Oh, and this was also shared on my um, blog on November 18th of 2017 as part of the um, Stampers by the Dozen blog hop. So I'm giving you a tutorial on one of our blog hop gift packaging ideas. So we're going to start off with um, a piece of black, uh, basic black cardstock. This measures 11 by 7 and a quarter. We have two pieces that are for the banner that goes on the front of the box. These measure two by four and a half and one inch by four inches. Then we have designer series pa paper from the Mary Music um, Specialty Designer Series Paper Pack. And I've punched out a three fourth um, inch circle. We have um, a piece for our banner. This is one and a half by four and a quarter. Then the lid of the box, this DC, um, DSP is measures three inches by one and three fourths. And the front of the box, the designer series paper measures three inches by two and three fourths. Okay, so those are all the items that we need as far as paper is concerned. Okay, so we're going to put these pieces to the side till we need them later. And we're going to get started scoring our large seat. And I'm going to be using the Simply Score scoring tool. We're going to start out on the 11 inch side, on the long side, and we're going to score at 1 inches, 3 inches, 6 inches, and 8 inches. We're going to turn it to the short side, the 7 and a quarter inch side, and we're going to score at 2 inches and 5 and a quarter. Okay, and we'll need this a little later, but for now we're going to put that to the side. Okay, and let's um, fold and burnish all of our score lines. Uh-oh. I'm going to use my bone folder to burnish. takes care of all of our score lines folded and burnished. Okay, and I have a template here. That a picture of this can be found on my blog on the November 18th, um, 2017 blog post. But this is the template to show me how I need to cut, cut out our um, box, okay? So I don't know if, how well you can see the score lines on the black, but just so this is going to, let me see. Nope, it goes this way. So this is how we'll be cutting it out. So you can see all the pieces that we need to cut out. Okay, so let me get started on cutting that out. Where are my scissors? Here they go. Okay. So on this short side here, with this um, little short skinny piece, we're gonna cut, let me flip this over. I can see better on this side of the paper. We're just going to cut straight up this score line on both sides. Okay, and once we've done that, I am going to bring back in the envelope punch, I mean, not the envelope punch board, but the scoring tool. And we're going to fold this back. And we just need to score this section only. These two sections on either side, this is going to be the lid. We're just going to score at one inch down to the first score line that you get to. Okay, so we're gonna flip it over, 
fold in that tab as well and score again at one inch just to the first score line down here okay and you'll see why we have to do that in a minute actually it's just a cutting guide because we're not going to fold on that so we're going to cut here where we scored we're just going to cut that off it's just to um, make sure that you cut exactly a, an inch off that's all so we're going to do the same thing on the other side okay oh I didn't cut all the way through just a little bit okay Just looking at my template here. Okay, then we're going to cut up all the score lines on both sides of this. Turn it over and repeat. And now we're going to need to do some wedging, some serious wedging. So on these at the top where this is going to form our lid, we want to cut out an extreme V or triangle on the end that's closest to this big rectangle here. And we're going to do that on both sides. And then you just want to take a little... A little wedge off the top part just a tiny slither okay then we're gonna skip these two rectangles here and on this square on the side that's closest to this first rectangle coming from the lid in we're gonna do another extreme cut on both sides Then just basically cutting off the score line on this side here. Just a little wedge. Not much. Okay, and that, I believe it's all the cutting we need to do. Okay, so this is going to be our lid. And this is the front of the box. So we're going to go ahead and adhere our designer series paper. And I'm going to be using um, multi-purpose liquid adhesive for that. Only thing you need to make sure if you're using designer paper that is directional, that you face it in the, this is going to be the top. So you want your images, so see when you fold it up, you want your images to be facing the right direction. But since this paper is not directional, it doesn't really matter. Okay, then we'll adhere the part for the lid. Okay, so now to put this box together. Most people, when you put the box together, this is the front, so this will be the last thing that you fold up. Most people put the two small tabs in first and then put the back one on the outside and then fold it. But I don't like the way that looks on the inside. So what I like to do is put these tabs on the outside of these back flaps. That's why we gave it such a major cut so that when you put it together and you fold the front, you can't see them from the back. Okay, so that means we need to put some adhesive on the inside of these two flaps here. And I'm gonna use tear and tape for that. Let me get this tear and tape started. I'm gonna put two pieces, one on the inside and the outside edge. Okay, 
thing so when you fold that up that'll glue itself to everything there uh oh sticking to myself okay so we want to put also some adhesive on these two flaps so that they can stick to this Okay, and for the lid of our box on this one, I don't know if you can see, but I don't like having this open where you can see where I cut. So what I should have done is folded the front flaps on the outside. So we're gonna change that up on this one. So on the lid, instead of having this like on the outside, that's why we cut this one, we're gonna put these long tabs on the outside so that the front of our box will have a nicer finish. Okay, so that means I want to put the, the adhesive on the outside tab since these are cut smaller so that we won't have extra adhesive showing. So we'll put the tear and tape on these two flaps here. You got to fold those in. I'm going to put two pieces. Since this lid will be opening and closing a lot, I'm going to make sure it stays put together. So let's go ahead and remove the adhesive backing. We're going to fold these up and just make sure your box is nice and square when you adhere these two flaps. I don't push too hard just in case I um, need to pull it back apart. We're going to remove the adhesive off the side, the front side flaps. And there, just give it a little press on both sides. Okay, now we can put the lid together. We're just going to make sure that these line up here. And the same thing on this side. My adhesive went over a little, so I'm just going to fold it over on itself. Line that up. And there's our box lid. Closed. Okay, so now we need to make our banner. So we're just going to set that to the side for a moment. Get our banner pieces in and get our banner triple punch. Okay. And we're just going to punch all the pieces. Hmm, there's something on my paper. Okay, let's just, just push this all the way in as far as it can go and give it a punch. Same thing, my designer series paper. Uh oh. Just make sure when you put it in, if it's not um, one of the one inch, one and a half inch, or two inches measurements, just make sure it's in the center give it a punch okay and that's all we need that for we're going to use our multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere all these layers together so we're going to start with putting this one this banner with the designer paper banner onto the biggest black cardstock and try to just center it but the edge is up at the top Do the same for this one. Try to center it. Okay. And before we adhere our little circle, we're going to take the um, scoring tool again. We're going to just put this in in this manner. Let me see. And I believe for the banner, we need to score it at two and one eighth. So we're just going to make a score to mark at two and one eighth. That's two and one eighth. Is it two and a quarter? Two, I think it's two and one eighth, not two and a quarter. So we're going to do it at two and one eighth. We're going to fold that over. 
and burnish it really good. That's a lot of paper to go through. Okay. So now that we you know this is the front, we're going to take our three quarter inch circle of designer series paper, just put some adhesive on it. it right here. Try to center it. This is why I like using the multi-purpose glue. It gives you time to move things around a bit if you don't have them right where you want it. Okay, and then I'm going to add a pearl that I have colored with some uh, black Sharpie. I'm just going to add this black pearl right in the middle of this snowflake. Okay, and take our multi-purpose glue again, get our box, and we're going to adhere this tag to the top of the box. You're going to put your adhesive all the way down to the score line, because that's going to cover the top of the box. And then just a little bit past the score line to make sure it adheres to the front of the box. The front of the box lid, not the front of the box. Okay, and we're going to just try to center this as well. Get that glue off of there. Just center this. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I ran out of battery. Not battery, but memory. Um, when I was putting on this banner, I noticed that I did score it in the wrong place. My score measurement was incorrect. So what I suggest is that you just lay the banner on here and fold it over and then reinforce that fold instead of just scoring it at a certain score mark, just to make sure it's perfectly um, fits on the front because I did have a little overhang once I pushed the score line. It was a little overhang that I had to cut off. But this is the box completed, okay, with the hinged lid. It's just a box with a lid, but it's cute, 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 okay? That is our project for today. And here's the one that I shared in the, um, on the 18th of November. So they're similar, but not. <laughs> a couple of changes. But again, I want to thank Linda Parker for her excellent tutorial for the idea of this box. Okay, don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later.